Hi everybody, Scott and John here, Digital Lead Performance. We're six months into our project right now, and we really want to share with you what's happening. John, we've got a lot happening, so give us a little details of what's happening here. We do have a lot happening. So we had our six month anniversary was uh, October 31st, so we started in May with pilot program and, and now we've got six months. So I'm going to share with you some six months cumulative data which I find uh, fairly interesting. So in these six months with the various dealers that, that we work with, uh, we've handled 3,947 leads and that's as of this morning. So those numbers update all the time. So by now it's a little bit, a little bit higher than that, but 3,947 leads that have come in through dealers' websites. Our response time on all of those leads is five minutes, 39 seconds. Five minutes, 39 seconds. It's not five hours, not five days, five minutes, 39 seconds. Speed to lead is important. Working with those leads, our team of agents that are just on the other side of that wall over there have made outbound 76,077 phone calls. 76,077 phone calls. In addition, the combination of text and email, 91,292 in those categories. You add those together, it's 167,369 particles of information and contact points that have gone out from our agents to customers on behalf of the dealerships that, that we work with. So there's a lot of touch points happening there. Um, we've set for the dealers. 3,018 appointments. Okay, that's 76 percent. All right, so 3,097, 3,947 leads, 76 percent of those are set appointments. 3,018. 55 percent of the set appointments are kept. 55 percent, that's a pretty high ratio. Mm -hmm. So that equals 1,657. So we've got 1,657 people that have come onto dealerships' websites that we've engaged with at, at Digital Lead Performance, and we've turned those into kept appointments at the front door of, of the dealerships. Those appointments, from those, we've sold 414 units. 414 units. And, okay, that's a good number, but what's interesting about that, that's 27% of all the units sold by all our dealers over that six month time frame. Okay, so 27% of the unit volume for these dealers has come through this, this office. And I've got I've got a little I've got another stat that I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna show I'm gonna share with you at the end, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold that off. But that's that's where we are today. That's that's six months worth of information right there. So that's John, that's what we've accomplished so far. So let's go back to the beginning. Let's talk about how do we get into this and and what, you know, why did we get into this business? So, some of you may know, some of you may not. Uh, we've been in the, in the Harley business for a long time. We were in the metric business for a while as well, and, and we haven't been in that for a little while. But at the time this started, we had six Harley stores plus an SRL, and all of the, the digital follow-up, everything was going on on the store websites and all that stuff was handled inside the sales department of the store. None of it was centralized. And we struggled with that. I think like, like many dealers struggle with that. Um, you know, accountability to door traffic, accountability to phone calls. And now I've got to try to figure out a sales manager or an internet sales manager or a BDC person. Somebody's got to go into the website or into the CRM and figure out, did we have somebody on a website requesting information, looking for a trade value, working a chat feature, whatever the case is. And it was a distraction for the salespeople and for the sales management team. They have enough to do with the floor traffic and prospecting and their own follow-up. And so we took one of our top sales managers, Aaron Barney, a guy that's been with us for 18 years now, and been a sales manager, general sales manager, and so forth. We moved Aaron off of the floor and we put him in an office and said, Aaron, you need to figure this out. And the ultimate goal then and today is to sell more motorcycles, sell more bikes. So we took the process off the floor and essentially that was, that was the beginning. Aaron built a team, built a process, and for six stores, 
he would handle with his team all the digital leads that came in from our stores and take them through the same process. Mm. Set an appointment, follow up and make sure that appointment's kept, communicate with the staff at the store so they're ready to receive that customer when they show up with, with their kept appointment. So it was growing great, worked really well. And then we decided that it was time to sell some Harley stores, kind of, kind of, kind of move on to the, to the next chapter. And as we started selling stores, Aaron came to us and said, hey guys, you know, we're only gonna have two stores. Are we really gonna need this? And if not, I think this is something that we can take to the market. Yeah. And, and that's really where we are. We started in May with a pilot, uh, we had a 90 day pilot with four stores. Um, and the results were great. And we said, let's take this thing to market. So that's where we are today, fundamentally. Uh, we follow up on, on your digital leads and we set appointments. We make sure they're kept appointments. Um, and it's all free up your time and to help you sell more motorcycles. So essentially, John, really what we're talking about is making their leads more valuable. You know, as a, as a dealer, the one thing that I always realized was the dollars we spent every year, every week, every day on traffic walking through our front door was the greatest value that we actually had in our business. So we've been able to really see that we can put a much greater value on the digital leads coming in, which is a much bigger part of the dealership showroom business. Yes, there, there's a lot more people that, that are going online before, before they come to the store. But one of the things that keeps coming up is the cost, mm. is the cost of service. So the cost of service is a discussion point that we always have, have, to, have to have with dealers because it's an outside service. And we all know, as a dealer, as a general manager, or as an owner, everything we spend outside the business gets, gets critiqued pretty hard. You know, should we spend that money or not? Yep. Should they spend that money or not? Well, I can tell you, we, the, the fee structure for us is based on the volume of leads that dealers get. We have them in tiers. And what I can tell you, we have dealers right now in all our different tiers, and each of those dealers, every month that they've been with us, at the end of the month, they have earned, collected more gross profit dollars on the bikes sold through our service than what they've paid in for us, okay? To the tune of 16 times, right? 16, 16 times. times. So I'm saying if a dealer gave us a dollar at the beginning of the month, we're going to return to them $16 of gross profit at the end of the month. Every dealer, every month, very consistent. So it's not an expense and it's an investment. Wow. Well, look, I think if you're interested in that level of service and that kind of return on investment, you should call, give us a call, let us give you a good presentation on how we can help your business get a great return on your investment on digital leads and help you sell more motorcycles. And you know what they say about leads, Scott? No. The longer they sit, the colder they get. Oh, that's good. So the final question for you is how cold are your leads?